안녕하세요. 저는 엘머의 새로운 어프렌티스 라이언이라고 합니다. 반갑습니다. Welcome to this channel. So, magandang araw sa inyo muli. Si Elmer ang Kilio. Ako sa Sydney. So, nakilala na ninyo ang aking apprentice, Ryan. Hi, my name is Ryan. 안녕하세요, Ryan입니다. Ah, si Ryan. Oh, total, mahilig kayong mag-Korean dyan. Basahin nyo na lang yung subtitle later on. Kapag ilalagay ko na basahin nyo yung subtitle para malaman nyo kung ano yung sinasabi niya. Okay? So, i-interviewin natin si Ryan. Siya ang ating bagong apprentice. Our new apprentice, Ryan, He is uh, right now an Australian citizen, and he's looking forward to learn from the best, Elmer Ronquillo. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's start doing some interview. 안녕하세요. 어 uh, 저는 엘머의 새로운 어프렌티스 라이언이라고 합니다. 반갑습니다. All right. Let's interview Ryan. Okay, Ryan. How did you find uh, Acosta, Sydney? Uh, well, um, I look for a good. Um, electrician video uh, on YouTube and I really type it down um, electrical job and fire tester sort of things and I finally get to his channel and I found um, his channel is up to date and then it's very skillful videos so I just follow uh, and subscribe it and I just write it down um, I would like to be your uh, apprentice and he actually uh, re uh, replied that back to me so that's where i started yes, yes. yes. actually i promised to him i think he sent me an email and a text message telling me as uh, email that's asking me if there is a vacancy and he wants to be my apprentice and he wants to learn from me uh, he had a problem with his previous work because most of his work is doing solar panel and it's mostly labor. We call it actually here because apprentices, especially him, he's a year one apprentice. I'm sorry, but he is old enough to be an apprentice, to be honest with you. He is already, how old are you? I'm getting 42. 42, <laughs> all right. But yeah. he has still have a young family, very young yeah. family. So uh, I told him, okay, if anything will did not come out on July because my new apprentice from the Philippines is coming on July. I will going to give you a message, send you a message, and then you can work with me. All right, because you know my company is not that big. It's just only a small. Yeah. You only need one or two person. Yeah. To get the third person, well, that guy is really lucky enough. Okay, so that's what happened. All right, so Ryan, I uh, was surprised when I sent him a message about uh, Ryan, do you want to work with, do you want to work? I need some help. And then him, he replied after that and then everything is now history. He's now yeah. working with me. He only texted me last week. I only te texted him last week and now he's working with me. Yeah. All right. This is his first day. Okay. Yeah. And uh, to be to be honest with you, first day he got a bag, bag full of uh, yeah, gears like knee pad, uh, gloves, whatever it is, but no food. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I said, Where's your... So luckily I bring some sandwich. I know this is will happen. Yeah. So I brought some sandwich <laughs> with me and then we have some uh, good lunch. Okay? So yeah, nakita na ninyo, ha? Ayo, kahit pala matanda, pwede nang uh, mag, uh, mag apprentice dito sa Australia. Actually, in Australia, uh, whatever your age, you can study. Yeah. All right. And there is no limit for qualification if you are really want to be qualified in any kind of work. All right. All you just need is a qualification. So I don't know why he wants to become an electrician. Yeah. Uh, he was a chef. <laughs> Actually, you are a chef, right? Yes, I was. So he finished yeah. uh, culinary here in Australia. Yeah. And then got his citizenship. And then you're t totally a good chef. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't want a chef. He doesn't want to go back to the kitchen or what? Uh, well, what makes you want to become an electrician, by the way? What? Why? <laughs> uh, well, I've been working as a chef for over 10 years and then I, I just, it was very difficult to promote myself to the managerial position, like head of chef, executive chef in hotel, five-star hotel. So I was uh, just, uh, before I get to, to get to too old, I was just looking for something, you know, something new job, change my career. And then I tried the painting painting work and um, I 
the um, the panel beta work and a sort of things. I tried many things, other things, and I oh, find you tried like, a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of things. Yes, and I found myself find myself love this job, electrical job. So I just um, choose this job, and then, yeah, that's. That's how, I, that's how you landed how up. Yeah. Yeah, ended up. Okay, yeah. he's a first year apprentice. Uh, by January or February, he will be on a second year apprentice. So he asked me if I can, uh, at least it's a bit of long term, up to six months or until he's going to be the second year. But definitely six months is enough. Definitely enough for him to learn a lot of things. But I told him, I discouraged him already. Why don't you become a fire tester? We get a certificate to the qualification. Uh, we haven't not we have not talked about it yet. But this qualification, you, he's lucky because he's working on a fire company. Only those people who are working in a fire company can apply or can learn or can get the course on certificate to in fire inspection testing. Only those who are in an existing company they are employed. Okay, that's the reason why. Okay, so I will going to tell you more in the future of what we're going to do and what Ryan has been learning. Okay, so this is Elmer, ako sa Sydney. Ryan? Kamsahamida. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> ganun na nga. Sige, bye-bye. See you next time. <laughs> Maganda talaga yung ikaw ay boss. No? Pag ikaw ay boss, Kaupo ka yan. Ito mo, ang ganda ng pagkakaupo ko, no? At yun, may trabador ka, ayun. Nagtatrabaho para sa'yo. Ayos ba, mga kabayan? <laughs>